Just say no. Crack kills. There's a war on drugs. This is just brain on drugs. These statements have become modern phrases in our society. Yet there's still a, an alarming rate of those who fall victim to crack cocaine and crimes associated with the use of such drugs. Crimes such as prostitution, homicides, as well as selling drugs. So what is being done to rid our communities of such drugs? Is there anything being done? Is there anything that you and I can do to help? Today we're going to take a look at some of these issues and talk to some of those directly involved in an effort to aid in the solution to the war on drugs. How did you first get started using crack cocaine? Uh, my neighbor, my next door neighbor. I was, it was my birthday and we were drinking and everything. When I drink a lot, I tend to try about anything, do anything. And what happened? She, um, well, when we first started smoking, she had rolled up this aluminum thing on a pencil and then made a little, she bent it, put some ashes in it, and put this little white, well, crack cocaine on it, and we hit it. And how did you feel? Uh, well, at first, I really didn't, I really couldn't tell a whole lot because I was kind of drunk. Later on, how often did you start smoking crack cocaine? When I first started, I was, it was like, I just did it every once in a while, every couple months or something. I'd spend all my money, though. <laughs> was you working at the time? Yeah. I was working a full-time job, housewife and everything. Uh, your husband using it, too? I wasn't married. I was engaged. Um, no, uh-uh. All he did was drink. Uh, how, uh, you see your friend introduced you to it? Uh -huh. My next door neighbor. She was a friend girl. She was throwing me a birthday party. Since you've been involved in crack cocaine, uh, uh, I guess you lost your job, you quit your job. Um, what about the, um, uh, how do you get your money? Now, I sell my body, I'm a, I'm a prostitute. How uh, much money do you get? Every day. As much as I can get. <laughs> okay. How much do you get per date or per Well, I, me, I don't usually do anything under 20, and that's just a start. And sometimes it's uh, higher than that? Yeah, well, yeah, it's a lot higher. I mean, it depends on the person. I try to work with people because the average me, I can't make a whole lot, and some men make a whole lot more, so it depends on the person. We're yeah. standing in a place right now that you have said that some people come to here, and I see evidence of it that people use, uh, they have sex here. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do they do? Standing up or sitting down or something like that? Well, it depends on what you're doing. If you're given, you know, oral sex, then you kind of squat or you stand, you know. However, whatever is the quickest way is what they do in abandoned apartments like this. They come in here and do the thing quickly, and then they'll smoke a little crack and go. Or someone will come in here and date for crack, which I don't date for crack. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have in front of me right now uh, some uh, uh, bags, little baggies, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't think, I think they sell them for a different purpose, but they use these for what? You can get those with reefer or crack, either one. The blue ones are mainly used for the crack. The white ones are for weed. And what did they, um, what does this cost? Well, something like the blue baggie is probably about $10. And the nickel bag of weed is like five dollars. Color coded, I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you smoke crack? I, I was just talking to you earlier. You were saying that they used to use cans, but they don't use cans anymore. No what do they do? They use glass stems, copper stems. Some even use glass bowls and stuff. But the easiest thing to tote with you would be a glass stem or a copper stem. The glass stem. Where do you get it from? You can buy it at any convenience store, just about. It's the little rose that comes in a glass tube. You mean the little things that I see about the size of a cigarette with the rose inside of it at the convenience stores? Uh -huh. That's what it is, a glass tube. And then they take and get Brillo. It's called Chore Boy, and they put it in. They burn it, put it in. And smoke the crack. Mm -hmm. Easiest, fastest way. You can hide that stem anywhere just about. Mm -hmm. um, you've uh, tried to quit using crack several times, mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. what happened? Well, the longest I had quit was two years, and then I went right back out to it. Basically, I guess because I didn't care anymore. Uh -huh. So, um, how many
how many times have you been in to places like River Edge or places like that to get clean up? I've been in detox a few times and I went through a treatment once. Well, it wasn't really like that treatment, it was a 30 day program. And when you get out of there, you are okay, but then you go right back on track again. Well, basically I do because this is, I don't have any family or friends here, so I kind of just, this is where I make my money, quickest money for a place to stay. Basically when I first start, and then when I just started doing the dates and stuff, then I start smoking.